What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Netflix has acquired the rights for the upcoming dramedy Tired the Starling, which is directed by St. Vincent director Ted Melfi and will star his St. Vincent star, uh, Melissa McCarty. The cast includes the likes of Crystal Dow, Kevin Klein, David Diggs, Loretta Devine, Tim D. Alphant, Skylar Gazzano, Laura Harrier, Rosalind Chiao, Veronica Falcon, Scott McAfter, and uh, Kimberly Quinn. Here's what the film's about. The Starling is written by Matt Harris and follows a married couple that suffers a hardship. Uh, you got leading Jack, played by Odell, who heads off to deal uh, with his grief while uh, Lily, played by McConaughey, remains in the real world dealing with her own guilt as if uh, Lily's troubles weren't bad enough. A stalling bird that has nested in her uh, backyard begins to harass and attack her, and she be and she be uh, becomes comically obsessed with killing it. Lily eventually finds guidance from Larry, played by Klein, a quirky psychologist turned veterinarian with a troubled past of his own. The two form a unique and unlikely friendship as they each help to uh as they e um help the other to explore a knowledge and confront their uh problems. Now this is a probably gonna have a little comedy in it, but it's gonna be another film that shows that Melissa McCarty could do more than just a share of comedies. Cause I love Melissa McCarty with comedies where you talk about the heat, happy time murders. A uh, spy, bridesmaids. Melissa McCarthy could do comedy well, but she shows that she could do drama as well. And you know, yeah, she was great. In, uh, can you uh, ever forgive me? But the film that really showed me that she could do drama well, uh, outside of Gilmore Girls, obviously, was Saint Vincent. If you guys have not seen Saint Vincent, which is from the same director and also has uh, Bill Murray, Saint Vincent is terrific. And that shows that Melissa McCarty could do more than just straight up comedies. So I'm I'm down to check out uh, Melissa McCarty in this. And Chris O'Dowd, I really like. Uh, you got Kevin Klein. Now, fun fact, this movie was supposed to star Keanu Reeves and Oz Fisher at one point. But it looks like they went in a different direction. And I'm down to check this one out. Now, of course, uh, Melissa McCarty is no stranger with Netflix because she had the uh, Gilmore Girls revival re um, not so long ago. And she also has a new Netflix movie coming called Dunder Force, I think it's called. Which could be interesting. So, hey, hopefully this could be, like, the stalling movie could be pretty interesting. Uh, let me leave it to you guys. What are your thoughts on Netflix acquiring the rights for the new Melissa McCartney drama, The Stalling? Do you like the sound of it? You know, uh, are, would you actually check this film out when it premieres on Netflix? And are you also a fan of uh, Melissa McCartney, whether it's her comic work or her dramatic work? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu signing off.